In this video, I'm going to be showing you lads one of the weirdest ways to make coins in FIFA 20. Like, I, you, you'll get what I mean when we get into it. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. If you want the cheapest FIFA 20 coins with a ban proof system, make sure to go and check out Mule Factory. I've left a link in the description. If you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Let's get into it. Oh, what is going on guys? Ellie 96 and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, we are back for a bit of a weird video. Now, the title of this video is going to be something like the weirdest way to make coins in FIFA 20. Now, the reason why it's called that is you'll see in just a little bit. But we're going to be starting off with the League 1 Team of the Season so far guaranteed pack. And this is actually going to be tying in to the method. And I've completed it. So I thought, you know what? Why not just start this video off by opening this? So, let's. if you enjoyed this video, if we could try and get this video to... I don't know. Let, let's try and get it to over 250 likes in the next 24 hours. And if we manage to do that, I'll show you guys some more FIFA 21 news this weekend. So that's the deal. There you go. But we are going to be starting off with this league earned team of the season so far guaranteed pack because it does relate back into our trading method. Now, basically, last night I was looking through Twitter and a FIFA trader called Seb posted up this image. Now, you'll be able to see it in the background. And just whilst you're taking it all in, I'm going to start to open this league and pack just take it in take it in yeah that's right he made a lot of coins from psg badges so basically the trading method that we're going to be talking about does actually link in with these league earn packs now basically what people have been trying to do based off the back of these league earn packs is to try and put things like PSG or whatever it may be, Marseille or whatever it may be, in the club to help them with the pack look. Now, I can see why people have done it because I've just got probably the worst one you could have got from all this. Well, but basically what a lot of people have started to do in the FIFA community is use PSG badges, PSG kits or Marseille badges or Marseille kits to basically improve their chances of getting the top players in their league and packs. Now, I didn't think that this was actually a thing, but like I said, from that screenshot, whose Twitter link I will leave in the description, you can see that people seem to be doing it, and I've honestly not a clue why. So with the method that Seb came up with, he was doing investing based off the back of it. So what we're actually going to do now is actually do some trading with it. Now, I never thought I'd be sat here going, go and trade with badges and specifically psg badges but this is a trading method that we are gonna try basically right now you can do some trading with psg badges because like i said a lot of people are trying to use them to try and increase the look for these league earned guaranteed packs or whatever it is so what you can actually do right now for whatever reason i don't really get why people are buying these is go through and pick up as many of these badges as you possibly can do for the cheapest price you possibly can do so i'm just going to be picking up as many as i can at 200 coins now don't get me wrong if you've not got the coins to throw away on this please don't try it but what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to buy up all these at 200 coins and then i'm actually going to list up a couple of them at sort of a heightened price to see if they will actually sell on and what you can actually do with this is sell these on for around 600 to 700 coins because like i said people are trying to pick these up to increase their chances at packing something decent for the league and guaranteed SBC. I honestly don't know why. So what we're going to do is I'm going to list up these one at a time for 700 coins each. And that's 500 coins profit per card. We've got quite a few of these. So I'm just going to list them over to the transfer list. So all I'm doing right here is just picking them up as cheap as I could possibly get them. Now, it's not just the badges that you're going to be using. You're also going to be doing this with the kits as well, just to see if you can make yourself any coins. But as you can see right here, we have stocked up just on the transfer list for Paris badges right here in the hopes that people will be getting Neymar. Now, if I sell in all of these at 700 coins, that's 500 coins profit. I've got around 20 of them, so that's 10,000 coins profit just from doing this. And all you really have to do is just list them up and just see if they sell on it. It's literally as simple as that. In addition to that as well, what you can also do is go through with the kits as well. Now, this will work with PSG and also Marseille may be one that you need to take a look at because obviously Ben Yedder is there at the minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through, we're going to go over to the league earn and we're just going to go through and go for the PSG kits. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't a method where I'm going to sit here and go, this is definitely something that you need to try. It takes ages to make coins. I just thought it was a cool video to make considering that you can make coins 
based off the back of this. So as you can see right here, the Paris Home Kit right now is going for around 550 coins, roughly. So what we can do is pick them up for as cheap as we can possibly get them and then start to list them up at around 1,000 coins. And that's all you're doing. He's just picking them up cheap and then constantly relisting them at a profit of around 500 to 600 coins. So it's not the best method in the world. It really isn't. And every now and again they're just going to sell on but every now and again they're also not going to sell on as well so just make sure to bear that in mind so we're just going to go over here set this to 900 coins and just get it listed up this does work with monaco as well and to be honest it will work with pretty much a load of different cards in fifa 20 because like i said we're not really doing anything which is too strenuous at the minute all i'm doing is picking up kits for as cheap as i can find them and just listing them on for like 500 coins profit and like i keep saying they're not going to sell on every time but every now and again they will do and it will just make you passive coins just based on the theory that Seb came up with. I, I can't get over that it's a thing, to be honest. Once you've started to pick up the different cards that you want to start doing some trading with, so the Paris kits, the Paris badge, the Monaco kits, the Monaco badge is another one that I need to take a look at. You need to start to list them up one by one because if you list up all of them at a set price, there's just no point. With us having the cheapest ones on the market right now, we can pretty much decide what we sell these on for. So, say for example, a lot of other ones get listed up at 200 coins. I can then start to pick those up and list those back up onto the market, but it's as simple as that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go away for a bit and I'm going to see how many of these sell on i don't think a lot of them will do but i'm just going to take a look at a few just to see if any of them sell on or not so guys i have just been playing some squad battles games if, if you're wondering how i got on i'll just show you right here i've been playing on ultimate recently just to see if i can do it and yeah we're doing we're doing all right i've got a couple of games left i do want to go for elite one to be honest but I don't know how long I can really play against the computer. Either way, it's besides the point. If we jump over to our transfer list, though, as you'll be able to see right here, all four of these have sold on. Now, I was playing three squad battles games just to give you some context. They didn't sell on straight away. They sold on within the hour, which is actually really, really good. So what I'm actually going to do is go through and list up all of these as well. But like I said at the start of this, I'm not coming here and being like, you should do this. It's the best trading method ever. And I know that I'll probably get slated off some other people by saying, oh, he's just putting out clickbait trading methods, blah de blah Oh, the Monaco kit didn't sell on. That's one thing that didn't sell on. It's not the biggest problem in the world. Regardless, this isn't the best money-making scheme in the world. It really, really isn't. But the fact that you can pick up these for like 200 coins, list them for a couple hundred coins higher, and they'll get a sell on, I thought was worth making a video. And I just wanted to show you guys the mad trades that Seb actually did as well. Like I said before, I will leave his link to his Twitter down below so make sure to go and check it out but this is pretty much it go and do some trading with PSG badges Monaco badges basically every time we get any like league guaranteed team of the season upgrades do some trading around the top players part of that so for example if it's someone like I don't know if we get a ultimate team of the season guaranteed SBC and Messi's in there change all your badges to Barcelona get a lot of kits and then do some investing around them and you might even make yourself some coins so that's pretty much everything that you need to know but let's I think that's where we're going to be leaving it. Well, guys, that's where I'm going to be wrapping up this video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on it. If you want to find out more about drop shipping and e-commerce, there's a link to my e-commerce channel down in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you need any help with anything. But this is Betty 6. I'll be back on Saturday, I think. Saturday, yeah, sound good. See you there. It's Betty 6, and I'm off. Wrong hand. Goodbye.